This is something I think all physics students should see. It's particles engaged in Brownian motion. Analysis of this motion by Albert Einstein and Marian Smolachowski provided indirect confirmation of the existence of atoms and molecules. Brownian motion is one of the key experiments from the history of science, and we can recreate the phenomenon here in the lab. It's usually done using one of these, which is called a smoke cell. You fill this tiny capsule with smoke from some burning paper. You take the whole thing and put it under a microscope. And what you should see are smoke particles undergoing Brownian motion. I'm using what I think is a more convenient method, which makes use of this. It's a suspension of one micron diameter polystyrene spheres in deionized water. You simply take a drop of this and put it into a microscope slide with a cavity. You then look at that under a microscope. Now, you could get each of your students to set this up, but I prefer to do it as a classroom demonstration. That way, I know all my students are seeing the same thing at the same time. What I'm using here is an ordinary microscope connected to a video camera via an eyepiece adapter. What we want our students to look at are these dots which are jiggling about. It's absolutely crucial that they don't think they're looking at atoms or molecules. The dots are the polystyrene spheres. And we want them to understand that the spheres are jiggling because they're constantly colliding with countless water molecules, which are far too small to see. Let me show you a model which might help your students understand this. What I've got here is a loudspeaker connected to an AC power supply, and that's so I can get it to vibrate at 50 hertz. I can change the amplitude of the vibration by simply adjusting the voltage. I've also got this plastic cylinder, and I'm just going to place that over the cone, like so. And I'm going to use these table tennis balls to represent water molecules. I've got about 20 of them. I've set the voltage at about 2.5 volts. What I hope you saw was that the table tennis balls move around randomly, a bit like particles in a liquid. I'm now going to add this, a much bigger particle, to my water. It's just a partially inflated balloon with a drop of water in it to make it slightly heavier. What I hope you saw this time is that the balloon jiggles around, a bit like the polystyrene spheres we were looking at under the microscope. If you're going to do this demonstration with your students, get them to concentrate on the balloon and to imagine that the white balls are invisible. What they should realise is that the balloon is moving around due to collisions with the smaller balls. And hopefully, they'll be able to see the analogy between this model and the genuine Brownian motion they saw earlier.